going on to you Taurus so you have the magician nine of cups seven of cups knight of cups the seven of wands four of cups page of wands the strength two of cups and the king of wands ah <sighs> so for you Taurus um a lot of you Taurus will get to know somebody Okay, you will put the, your, your best foot forward first. You have no problem approaching. But the idea that they can just sit around and, and expect you to just give them everything while they do nothing, that's a dub. The reason why I'm saying that is because you have the Magician and then you have the Nine of Cups, right? Magician, a lot of things are, is going your way. And as a result, the Nine of Cups, you have a lot of options. You have people that are interested in you, right? Things are going your way, right? Obviously, things could always be a bit better, but things, for the most part, are going your way. And the Seven of Cups represents those options that I was talking about, right? So you have plenty of people in which you can get to know. But a lot of you, a lot of you Taurus, are just right now playing the field. You want to get to know as many people as you possibly can so that when it's time for you to actually pick the person that you would want to be in a relationship with long term, it's not someone that's dysfunctional. That's why it is that you're dating so much. And the Nine of Cups represents, again, you have no problem approaching people. You have absolutely no problem going up to somebody saying, hey, how you doing? Doing the whole rigmarole, right? But then you have the uh, Seven of Wands. And you'll even, you'll even be gracious. And even not only will you approach, but you do not mind actually, right, making the first move on top of that, right? So... You actually are making the first move when you did approach them, but you don't mind making a second move, which is to find to to ask them out, try to find out if they want to hang out. The Four of Cups now represents how this is a situation where um, you'll take them out. All of that being very gracious. You Taurus are being very, very, very gracious, right? Very patient, very tolerant, but 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 has limits to that, right? But because the Page of Wands, right? The Page of Wands and the Strength represents your patience and your tolerance. Your tolerance has has uh, uh, limits to it. And the reason why I'm saying that in the first place is because the, the Page of Wands, the Strength, you're unwilling to accept certain things. One of the things that you're unwilling to accept is the boss mentality, you know, strong and independent and all that other type of stupid stuff right the mentality of you know the person wants to hang around you but yet you should just give them your money and take them out on free trips and give the give them gifts a lot of you tourists are not down with that because if the person has all this energy and if they're so much of a boss and if they're so fly and all this other type of stuff the two of cups then why is it that these people can't afford that for themselves so the king of wands now represents how that vague level of disrespect that a lot of you Taurus experience that's a dub that's a complete dub like if a person is is showing you that they're going to be disrespectful to you even if it's vague even if it's not right to the extreme right if a person shows you right even a very low level of of, of unwarranted disrespect i just see a lot of you taurus not really being tolerant of that and you taurus really being right getting out of dodge because ultimately it's like what you taurus are gonna you mean to tell me that you taurus are gonna approach the, the person find out about who they are ask them out even pay for it right on some chivalrous type stuff and this person still gotta come at you with the disrespect and acting like their sense of self-worth is so high. So a lot of you Taurus are like, look, it's a dub. So let's clarify some of these cards. Let's clarify, okay? Let's clarify the strength. Let's clarify the strength. So to clarify, you have the King of, of uh, Pentacles, the Ten of Swords, the Four of Cups, and you have the Page of Wands, right? Because the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, this is really about how, since this is the case, right, 
the two of cups represents they them wanting to hang out with you but under the narrative of you need to give me cash and prizes and all this stuff the king of pentacles <laughs> and the nine of swords excuse me the ten of swords represent this is what they're trying to see if you're so stupid enough to actually do Taurus. they're trying to see if you're the king of pentacles you're just going to give them these gifts cash and prizes and all this other stuff and that goes on either side while they get to go off and do whatever it is that they want to do and the four of cups represents you you being like nah forget about that because you already have the four of cups here you are they're trying to see if you're going to overextend yourself try to continue to pursue them day after day all this other type of stuff without end right up until you get them to behave quote unquote and they never will so then the page of wands which you already have the page of wands represents you Taurus, have to see it for what it is <laughs> it's a con <laughs> it's a way to get you hemmed up it's a way to get you caught up in the mess it's a way to get you in a position where you really hemmed up you really caught up because ultimately the end goal is marriage to put you in some sort of bind to where they can get something from you it, 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 even if it's not marriage it's something where they can they can hold something over your head no matter what it is honestly and you Taurus have to be aware of this right because there's way too many people out here who have this ideology that they deserve to be living off of somebody else so that's pretty much it comment on the video like the video subscribe to the youtube channel peace